We come to you from downtown Los Angeles. I'm Ed Cohen with the former Chicago Bull, Jay Williams. And Jay, once you beat the traffic, this is one of the great stops in the NBA. When you step your foot on that purple and gold floor, you know you have to bring your A-game. Plus, your trash-talking A-game to all the celebrities sitting courtside, Ed. It's the definition of showtime. Let's do this. The opening tip corralled by the Lakers, and we're underway in downtown Los Angeles. Here comes the screen. Jay, Magic, and Kobe each won five titles. How are you going to judge LeBron James' legacy in L.A.? <laughs> LeBron James wins one championship in L.A. That means he will set himself apart. He will have won four championships in three different cities. Now, that is polarizing for some fans. That still does not take away from the overall greatness and the legacy of LeBron James. To Levine. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. Ed, you ever bail out of something at the last second? That's what I saw right there from the defender. We call that no man's land. They weren't really committed to getting out of the way, committing a hard foul, or taking the brunt of the contact. Free throw up and good. And the three-point play puts them up early in this one. LeBron into the front court. Looking to make something happen. Great look and vision. James. Short jumper off the mark. Nice touch around the basket with the tip. That's what I'm talking about, Ed. It's that simple. Put the ball in the bucket. To Zach Levine. Let's it fly from long range. His first effort off the mark. With the fade away. Burns him for the basket. Old school equals high percentage. Lonzo Ball brings it up the floor. And scores. Strong take. Let me tell you something that nobody will ever talk about. Did you see him slow down right before he was about to go up? That slow change of speed, that slight change was just enough to throw the defender off. Across the timeline comes James. They trail by one. Caldwell Pope. Nice pass to set things up. Yes! And the foul. And a chance at three coming up. People become so fixated on the hands or the arms or the strengths of the arms. I look at the legs. The strength of his legs help him power through that play. That's how you get and ones. Free throw up and good. Gives him a two-point lead. from the post you see the great playmakers see the shot before it ever happens they recognize how they were being guarded on the previous set and then they make the necessary adjustments LeBron James he's three of five 60 percent shooting from the field this offseason I heard so many voices even that of the great Shaquille O'Neal talking about how LBJ needed to submit his own legacy well, for LeBron, it's not about chasing external accolades. It's about hunting your own legacy, and that's to be the greatest of all time. To James. It's good. If you don't stand in his way, he's going to make you pay. Jay, what makes LeBron so special on the offensive end? Well, first and foremost, look at that frame. 6'9", 265 pounds with the agilities of a guard. He can blow by you. If he dips that shoulder, there's no way. There is nobody in the NBA that can guard that man one-on-one. -on -one. James. To Caldwell Pope. James, not that time. To marking it. And I'm going to gloat about my old team here for a second. Did you know the Bulls are the only NBA franchise to win multiple championships 
and never lose an NBA final series in their history. 6-0 right now. It helped to have a guy named MJ. But, Jake, think about this. If he's not gone those two seasons, maybe it's eight straight finals wins. Now the Bulls boost. Unlucky bounce. The pass taken away by the Lakers. Not going to have it this time. That approach, that's what you want to see. Nice save. Yes, and the foul. And a chance at three coming up. That was such a great job by the offensive player. Knowing that you're probably going to take some lumps here and there, but still remaining aggressive throughout the shot and getting a crack at the extra point. Free throw good as he completes the three-point play. The lead is up to six. Now the Lakers are going to call a timeout as their coaching staff wants to talk things over here in this third quarter. Ball to James. Count the basket at the rim. Two points. Take them any way you can get them. Cruises inside for two. Showing you why he belongs here in this league with the best of the best. Efficient scoring out of the rookie here tonight. Layup's good. That's as high percentage as it gets. Attack mode isn't a switch that you can just turn on and off. He needs to do more of that. We need to see him penetrate, get into that lane, and create. Los Angeles has the basketball. Kentavious Caldwell Pope. Small sample size, but making the most of it. He's one for two. Did you see the way that dribble freed him up? It created so much space. I did, but the defender didn't. Fires the three. Tough shot there for Chris Dunn. No good. LeBron into the front court. His guys find themselves trailing by a bucket. To Kyle Kuzma. Oh, great pass. Setting up the basket. I'm not sure that wasn't an offensive foul. But take it when you can get it. To Markinen. Markinen slams it down. You know, from a point guard perspective, one of the things that I learned when I played in the league was that the more I was willing to give the ball up, the harder other players were willing to run to their spots. The harder the bigs were running to the rim. The harder the three-point shooters were running to the three-point line because they knew they could be active recipients. And when they caught the ball, they knew exactly what to do with it. Going to launch beyond the arc. Tough shot for Markinen. No good. Shooters shoot. Period. I don't want to hear any excuses. That's why you're on the floor. You keep doing what you're doing with that superior confidence. To Chris Dunn. Zach Levine. Oh, good offense, beating good defense. You know, from a point guard perspective, one of the things that I learned when I played in the league was that the more I was willing to give the ball up, the harder other players were willing to run to their spots. The harder the bigs were running to the rim. The harder the three-point shooters were running to the three-point line because they knew they could be active recipients. And when they caught the ball, they knew exactly what to do with it. To Levine. Let's it fly from long range. And that's rebounded by Kuzma. Ball with the basketball. His guys down three. To James. To Ball. Oh, denied! As my old teammate RJ would say, stay down, clown. Levine to Markinen. Finishing inside the paint on that one. The seventh pick overall, Larry Markinen had an exquisite rookie season. Ending the year... Shot and nearly a chance at a three-point play. No foul. Clearly not afraid of the spotlight here because that was not an easy look. Into the front court comes Rondo. Trailing by 14 to James. Short jumper stays out. Stuffs it down with authority. At this point, they're twisting in the wind. 
Were you looking for a response from me? Because I don't really know what else there is to even say. I mean, is this even a game? I mean, we should just start packing up and getting ready to go right now. And he's fouled. A trip to the line coming up. Just because a team's winning doesn't mean the refs are going to put away the whistle. Play right all the way through. LeBron James, a couple of free throws on the way. Shooting 80% in this contest. Can't connect on the first free throw. Second one goes. It's a one of two trip. Stuffs it down with authority. I know there's that old saying that says one man can't beat five, but we're watching one man carry four other players. His back has to be hurting. Another big time ball. finish. I got ball. From the outside, no good. Now whistle. We'll get a timeout call by Chicago. High fives all around. This game is well in hand in the final minute. Deep three at the buzzer. The Bulls take this one as they win this one handily. That does it. For my partner, Jay Williams, and our entire crew, I'm Ed Cohen. This is... This has been a presentation of ESPN on EA Sports. Until next time, I'm Jalen Rose, signing off.